I decided to come back here. Everybody wants to know about the winch, what modifications I've done to it. As it turns out, got in a little bit of a mud hole here. I only have my small tires on it. Got hung up in the middle. Winch came in handy, of course. It's a good opportunity to go over the winch and you know what I did with it. So let's take a look. The main things I focused on with this winch, it's not like a competition winch that the guys are running overseas in Australia and maybe New Zealand. Uh, we don't have the, those kind of events here. So I was just, my main issue was I wanted to be able to put more rope on it and I wanted to be able to pull more. Uh, and really the only thing I really had to do was uh, cut the old drum off, which is a three inch diameter drum. And I put a one and a half inch solid stock bar right across and added about three inches onto it. So it's three inches wider than the overall uh, old school 8274. In order to accommodate that, I also had to lengthen the uh, Hawes Fairlead here. So we just cut that, spliced it, and uh, shaped up a couple of pieces of aluminum and welded those in. So it works great. I ditched the um, steel cable because it's just really not safe. I don't like working with it anymore. Uh, it, it, of course, it is good for certain applications, but over time, you know, it gets kinked. Uh, you get little pin pricks through your gloves and the potential of it snapping is up there. So, you know, I don't want anybody to get hurt. So I went with this master pull rope a few years ago and I've probably had this about four years and this is pretty hardcore stuff. Uh, I'm nothing but impressed with the quality of it. I've had some serious loads on this and I've never had an issue with it at all. Another thing I did was I swapped out the old 2.8 horsepower motor or 2.6 horsepower and I put in a 4.3 or 4.6 horsepower motor. It works just fine. I haven't really, honestly, I haven't really noticed any difference in line speed and I actually lost line speed because I did make that uh, inch and a half uh, diameter solid stock on there. So, you know, I lost line speed, but I also up my pull by theoretically about twice, right? So if this is um, specced at about 8,000 pounds, now maybe I'm pulling 16, I don't know. I'd like to actually try it with a dynamometer sometime just to see what I did. Everybody knows that I put an Albright solenoid in this as well. It's all underneath the hood. It keeps, it is waterproof, but it keeps it out of, out of the elements, which is nice. You know, I don't have anything up front here. And also, you know, when you have the big box here, it does hinder the airflow into your rad. Uh, for the hot days, it's not a good thing. Now, one issue with the old school 8274 that people have is the brake cam here, the brake shaft. Sometimes it snaps when it's under a high load and your brake pops off, everything comes off, and that's kind of detrimental if you've got a high load on your, uh, on your winch cable, right, with your truck. So what some guys do is they drilled out the shaft and that's exactly what I did. It is case hardened steel. It's pretty tough to get through the first little bit, but after you do that, it's no problem brought it into a, a machine shop and they did it in about five minutes. So they basically just drilled it out and tapped it. And I put a, a big washer on it and a retaining nut here, retaining bolt. So that more or less keeps anything from popping off if in the event that this does snap off. One other thing I did was I put in these two support brackets in here. Sometimes when you're mounting up the 8274, if this plate isn't on perfectly, it has a really hard time um, free spooling. So I put in these two bars. Uh, there's one in the top here and one in the bottom, and this just keeps it in a perfect plane. So I get a good um, a, a good pull when I do go to free spool. And to try to make it a little bit better, I reamed out the inside of the the end plate here, and I actually installed a big bearing. So let's see this right here. I installed this big bearing in here to just help it uh, free spool because with the old end plate, all it is is basically, a, well, it's not even a friction fit, but it's just a loose fit with some grease that, and a nylon bushing. I don't really like that. So this is a press fit. Everything's nice and tight, sealed bearing. Actually, and it doesn't work too bad. I'm pretty happy with it. Overall, this is an awesome winch. I love it. I've pulled pretty hard with it. You can see that in a couple of my videos. Stay tuned for some more fun with this one.